So today we are talking about cream blushes and I'm going to show you the ones that I really, really love, not only because of their colors and their performance, but their wear time. Cream blushes just seem to last longer for me. And the other thing is that cream blushes seem to soften. Also, if you're an older woman and you have any sort of texture, it does seem to soften quite a bit on your cheeks. And you can build it up if you want to for it to be a very intense color, or you can really sheer it out. And that's what I love about cream blush. So a special welcome to any of you that are new to my channel. I would love it if you would subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified of any future videos that I might be having. And also, if you would wouldn't mind everyone just taking a second and please hitting the thumbs up button. That really does help my video out a lot. Okay, let's get into my favorite cream blushes at the drugstore. I have seven of these, so I'm kind of going to go by ranking them backwards. So let's start with number seven, and that would be the blush bombs from Flower Beauty. Now, this is a little bit like the physician's formula in its consistency. But the nice thing about it, and I'll make sure that I throw up on the screen while I'm talking about these, I'll make sure I throw up the colors of them because I don't have my glasses and I'll have a hard time with that. But there is the packaging on it, nice packaging on it, um, squeeze tube. And this color is so pretty. This is like just a bubblegum pink and I think it's called bubbly. If you're deeper skin, they do have some richer colors that you can use which i think is great and then you can build on this if you want to and this one does dry down it takes a little bit longer that's why it's ranked lower it takes a little bit longer to dry down but it is a pretty blush and it does give that really soft subtle glow on the skin this one i got from amazon and i just happened upon it as i was you know typing in cream blushes this is from perfect diary beauty it is a duo um one right here so i will swatch both of those so you can see this one is ranked a little bit lower only because uh, you have to work with it a little bit faster, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. My favorite thing to put these blushes on with is a stipple brush. This one is from IT. I have another um, angled one from IT that is my favorite. It's just not over here with me. Morphe has a really great stipple brush. Um, there's a couple others. I'll make sure that I link a bunch of them. Oh, I know who else has a really good stipple brush and it's a fan brush is Sonia Kashuk. And that one works really good for it as well. But these work really good because they don't lay down the product too quickly. And if you use the stippling motion to put it on, I like it better than, you know, even using my fingers because I feel like I can really blend it out that way. So um, this one is number six. It lasts a long time. The colors on it are quite vibrant and can be built up quite a bit, but beautiful flush of color there as well. Now, the next one that I love is from e.l.f. And this one is, I think this is a multi-stick. So you can use it on your lips if you want to. I I don't think it's very pretty on the lips personally um but you can use it on your cheeks for sure and this one it's rose something i can't read that up anyway um you just i just find that this one is an extremely creamy product and i absolutely love this color the mauve tone to it and then this one has just the right amount of slip just the right amount of thickness to be able to give you beautiful color on your cheeks and it is so easy to blend out and i think this is just one that is just oh i love that one it just works out so good it does have a slight sheen to it which i think is so pretty as well and um yeah i like everything about it but if you don't like the rosy mauvey color they do have it in other colors too and then in a number four is from Honest Beauty. I also ordered this one um, off of Amazon and this is Peony Pink. This one is much more coral than I'm used to. I like this one, even though this one is like $3 more than any of the others I had in here. Most of them were around between like six to $10. This one is I think 13, but I think this is still worth it. I feel like you get a lot in that pan. And the other thing is this is a great formula for cheeks. This one blends out really well. It's just it a blush that performs performs really well. I like the brightness of this color, the peony pink. I like this for summer. I think it's great. Again, you're going to get that little tiny bit of tackiness on it at first that helps you to move it around and, and blur it out and, you know, really works to smudge it out and really make it look like a pretty flush of color. But at the same time, you're getting one that I, as I'm working with it and right now it's dried down. So it's going to be there. It's not going to go slipping around your face or, you know, going to wash off your face. Some Sometimes with powder blushes, I do find that I have that problem. Cream blushes are so much easier. Now you can make it double 
um, secure by putting a powder over top of your cream blush if you want to. The next one that I really love is from Maybelline and this is the Cheek Heat. And this one is one of my favorites. This is actually what started me on the craze of looking for cream blushes. This one comes in a tube and this one is thicker. And I do appreciate that about it. And yet when you start getting it onto your hand or cheeks, I should say, and working with it, it just buffs out and shears out to be the prettiest glow. Oh my goodness, you guys. So that is just one little dab of it. Let me start putting another one on here so you can see how it's gonna build up. And just keep working with until you get the intensity that you want to or the sheerness that you want to. And then you let it dry down and they dry down. They're not going to go anywhere, but they're still going to be soft enough and have that creaminess about them that on mature cheeks, they're going to look so good. The next one, is from Milani and this is their Cheek Kiss uh, liquid blushes. And I absolutely love this, you guys. It's so pretty. I put way too much on. <laughs> so I'm gonna share that out, but I wanna show you if you just went just a little bit with it and didn't share it out too much, you can build that color up to be really bold. So I would suggest that you layer on this. Um, don't go, you know, one thick coat with it. Go a thinner coat and then a thicker coat and on and on until you get what you want to. So I'm just gonna continue to buff that. And what you're gonna see is that it will be just a beautiful beautiful flush of color. And today I actually have the Milani on this cheek and then the Cheek Kiss from Maybelline on this cheek. I feel like these are really similar products. I actually feel like the color is really similar as well. Just beautiful and it's gonna be able to sheer out or build up as you need it. So if you've been with me for any amount of time, my number one cream blush is not gonna be a shock to you. That is the Super Shock blushes from ColourPop. I love these. They are so wonderful. I learned about these years and years ago. Between the Sheets is my absolutely perfect color. I do have three that I'll show you though. And I've hit pan on this one because I reach for this one all the time. Perfect, perfect color for me. And it just gives such a gorgeous, this is a rosy pink tone to it. Let me swatch it a little bit heavier for you so you can see how it would be if you built it up. So it's still fairly light, but I that's what I love about the Super Shock blushes is they do have such a great range of blushes and their colors. And then the second one is called Prenup. Prenup is a gorgeous one too. This does have a slight shimmer in it, the Prenup does. Just a slight one. This is a very pinky one, um, more on the lines of a mauve one. It's so pretty on the skin though. And the other thing that you can do with it, see that sheen in it? The other thing that you can do with it is um, you can use it over top of one of these others if you want to. And then the last one that I have, this one is called Count Me In. And this is the newest one for me. Um, and this one too is like a peachy pink color, but definitely more on the lines of being rather peach than pink on that one. And that's kind of hard to see, I know. It does come across on camera as being lighter than it is for me right here. But there they are right there, and I love these. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my between the sheets and I'm gonna use this brush so that you can see how easily these are built up. All right, and so I start out here with cream products and bring them in. And I kind of just use a very, very soft touch to begin with but this is gonna build up quite nicely and quite quickly too. So even just that little bit that I showed you, that really brings the cheeks to life and really shows you that you can really easily blend those out. And there's nothing left on there, even from what I swirled in the, into the pot, there's nothing left on there. So it all got deposited on there, but it got deposited in such an even way because of the stipple brush. So like I said, I'll make sure that I link a bunch of those down below for you. And the other thing about that is this is going to dry down instantly. It's almost a cream to powder formula. That's what the Super Shock formula is known for. So it feels real creamy at first, but it's gonna just cling to your skin and it's gonna give that beautiful wash of flush of color, wash of flesh, flush of color on your cheeks. And I just think they're so beautiful. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. Please again, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. Do you have a favorite cream blush that you're using right now that works really good for you? I would love to know that in the comment section below. Everybody, I hope you're doing all right. I hope everybody is okay where they're at. Stay safe. 
stay sanitized, stay hydrated, and I'll see you all in my very next video. Love you. Bye-bye.